I acknowledge that this has been a difficult season for Kenyatta University and Kenya on matters accident from January 2024 to 10th April 2024 we we had 1313 fatalities and 3619 people seriously injured this is something that is most unfortunate and i think it is time that kenyans took seriously how we drive on our roads these accidents as it is on this day we are commemorating 11 students from this university who fell and now are with the lord these are not just mere numbers i've spoken about these are our brothers and they are our sisters. My heart goes to the families, the friends, and the entire university community. We have lost and lost very big. I want to request all of us to give Wainaina a round of applause. <clears throat> Another one for us. Thank you very much, Wanafisi. You were in Mombasa, and I, when this message came through, I looked at your face. And we, all look, we looked at each other, every member, for a bit of time. I looked at you, looking at, we were speechless for a moment. And that was the beginning of it. Particularly when we learned that there were 11. We knew what was ahead of us. And we, need, we did not require words. We had body language to express it. And I saw the language in him, and I think he saw mine in me. So thank you very much for who you became that time. We appreciate it. We don't want to take it for granted. As a mother, I feel very sad. And that's why you have seen I've been going around speaking to the young people concerning this illicit brew, alcohol and drug abuse. Many of our drivers, and I'm not saying that this particular was, one was not sober, but when you drink, you endanger the other motorists. You could be sober and I could be the one who is intoxicated, but we are driving on the same highway. We are driving on the same road. So as you endanger your own life, you are also endangering mine. And I think it is time we have a conversation concerning this matter. Because we do not want to lose any more lives. Eleven is enough. Today, almost in each and every family, you find young men and women, illicit brew, drugs and substance abuse, it's become so rampant. It's something that is destroying our country, it's something that is destroying our families. Kind young people of Kenyatta University, in including my friend who wants to be the president of this country, in another 26 years, be focused. Don't ever uh, accept peer pressure, negative influences to influence your life, because if you so do, then for sure your life is ruined, and even as a country, we will not be able to achieve the kind of targets we have set. We cannot be able to achieve our future in 2030. So we are asking you kindly, be focused, be a, a good Christian, be a good Muslim, because a good Christian follows the characteristics of Jesus Christ.